Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make uh, these really nice borders which have uh, detail on the sides of it, just so you have these little um, kind of uh, ledges on the cliff, just to add that side detail on like the side of the cliffs. I know a lot of people make these um, these cliff sides pretty flat on the uh, on the outsides. As you can see, this is what it looks like. It just adds that really nice uh, detail onto it, makes it look less dull, um, and overall gives a, a much better look to your games. Now it's a very simple addition to, from your uh, regular kind of uh, borders, so I'm going to show you now real quick how to do that. But before we do that, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn post notifications on, and make sure to like the video. And yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so once you are in Blender, you want to go ahead and click Add mesh and then cylinder add however, however many uh, vertices you want i'm going to go for uh, seven as an example and then you can go ahead and drag it up and then resize it uh, however you want i press s and then hold shift or press s and then x and then hold shift and then z to scale on the uh, x and z axes to make it thicker and then I'll bring it up and then control R to add loop cuts through the middle and then while I'm in edit mode I press 3 to select faces and I bring out the top a little bit and then I may bring out this part a little bit too. Now what I tend to do as a subtle uh, detail is uh, press A to uh, while in edit mode to select the whole thing and then face shade smooth and then go to this little green triangle here click normals and then auto smooth just to get that nicer smoother effect between um, uh, these loop cuts now to add the little crevices what I do is uh, press ctrl R to add a loop cut and then drag it up close to um, the other loop cut now I want to go ahead and toggle this button up here on the top right which basically makes it so when two vertices are attached like this they connect instead of overlap so what i do is i move this part out and then move it up a little bit and then press g twice while clicking this vertice and then go up until it connects and then it will connect these two and then once you have done that if you shade smooth like I did uh, here with the auto smooth what I do is I press 2 to select edges and then select these four edges here and then go edge and then mark sharp and then it makes it sharp and then you can go ahead and do the same thing add loop cut here uh, drag it out here uh, select this vertice double tap G bring it up and then select these four edges edge and then mark sharp and then you get kind of this these ledges on your cliffs and you can just repeat this pattern until you are satisfied with the amount of edges that you have once you're done with that you can add the top if you like so I'll just add another cylinder bring it up resize it and then I'll probably just keep it like this just to have a little bit more of a simplistic a uh, platform so this is pretty much the method of making these uh, nice borders with the subtle details on the end and then what I tend to do is I control C control V to duplicate and then lock onto the Z axis like that to go above and then I simply just Go into edit mode select these vertices and just move them around just to deform the shape a little bit i also uh, enable uh, proportional editing just you know to help me with the shapes and then you just make a variety of shapes whatever you want um, like this and then you import them into your game and you pretty much just place them around so to export them you want to go file export and then fbx and save them wherever you want once you're in studio you want to go to view 
asset manager and then click this little button to bulk import so you can bring in your mesh once all your meshes are imported here you want to select all these so I select the top one and then hold shift select the bottom one and then right click insert with the location and then we have our borders here so what I'd do is I'd recolor these to whatever I want and then recolor these to whatever I want and then group them like this and anchor them and then basically you can go ahead copy paste rotate uh, and get whatever kind of look you want to it and now you have these subtle details on the side of the cliffs which uh, make your cliff size look more detailed and add a nice little subtle effect which you can get kind of a nice look uh, like this but yeah that's pretty much it for this tutorial I hope this helped out and if it did make sure to like the video and subscribe other than that i'll see you in the next one peace